This is 1955 D. Roosevelt dime in mint state 68 with full bands. Well blended toning and copper rose, powder blue and pale gold colors blankets both sides. According to Stax Bowers, the underlying luster is fully vibrant, and the surfaces are as smooth and pristine as the day the coin emerged from the press. An exquisite pop 1-0 condition rarity that is sure to elicit strong bids from Roosevelt dime registry set collectors. It was sold for $7,762.50. Number 6. Here is 1962 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 Plus with full steps. According to Heritage, the 1962 date is not a particularly noteworthy issue within the long-running Jefferson Nickel series. Struck to the extent of nearly 100 million pieces, the 1962 is often, and understandably, given the mass production strikes of the time and place, seen with dye erosion. This piece is not an exception, as dye flow lines appear on both sides, more prominently on the reverse, where they show both in the fields and on Monticello. However, this piece shows a no-questions five full-step strike on the reverse, apparently at the expense of the hair near Jefferson's ear. Generous luster prevails over lovely surfaces with pale jade, gold, and pink hues. Number 5. This is 1916 Lincoln sent in PR66 plus red and brown condition. This example is from the dye pair 2 as described in Flynn. A small curved dye line appears just inside and near the top of the loop of the 9 in the date, and several vertical, or nearly so, dye lines runs behind the bust of Lincoln and between tie. On the reverse, several dye lines appear, including one vertical and just right of the N in scent, while another connects the lower inside right of that same letter with the left flag of the T in states below. The surfaces of this piece glow with soft luster, mostly orange gold with slight hints of pale mint and rose atop the portrait. There is no visible carbon or other distraction on this lovely and fully struck coin. It was sold for $30,550. Number 4. Here is 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 with full steps. Famous D over horizontal D repunched mint mark variety. The mint mark was initially punched into the die in a horizontal position and then corrected on this immensely popular guide book and cherry pickers variety. The FS501 is extremely difficult to locate in high grade and mint state examples always command extraordinary premiums. The present coin is a spectacular premium gem, with sharply detailed design elements that show full steps definition on Monticello. The repunched mint mark is easily detected. The well preserved surfaces radiate satiny mint luster, under delicate shades of champagne gold toning. It was sold for $31,725. Number 3. This is 1932 S. Washington Quarter in MS66 condition. Extraordinary premium gem quality for a key date Washington Quarter issue that enjoys strong demand throughout the numismatic grading scale. Delicate champagne gold toning on the reverse gives way to brilliance on the obverse. Both sides are fully frosted in finish with a razor-sharp strike and outstanding surface preservation. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid-1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. It was sold for $38,400. Number 2. This is 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as MS63 read by PCGS. Old-time collectors knew this issue simply as the 1922 plain sense, although the current terminology is 1922 no D. No cents were coined at the Philadelphia Mint in 1922, accounting for the great rarity of 1922 D cents with no visible mint mark, nor were any 1922 cents struck in San Francisco. Three Denver die pairs show this odd characteristic, yet die pair 2 is the one most sought by specialists. An eroded and worn obverse die was heavily lapped to remove signs of die clashing, a process that eliminated the mint mark altogether and then paired with a fresh reverse die. Mint state examples are extremely rare of the die pairing, especially with the red designation. It was sold for $48,000. Number 1. 1909 VDB Lincoln sent in PR64 red condition. As a one-year type with a low mintage, the 1909 VDB matte proof is highly sought and quite expensive with respect to other proof sense of 1909 to 1916. 
The actual number of coins produced has been disputed for decades, with estimates ranging from slightly over 400 to 1,200. Regardless of the figure, there are a small number of survivors relative to collector demand, and auction appearances are infrequent. This lovely near gem example displays strong design details, including the VDB. The color is particularly attractive on the reverse, with rich copper orange color overall, along with splashes of cherry red, sage green, fiery orange, yellow, and wheat gold. It was sold for $49,937.50. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode and found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you did. See you in the next video.